Helicopters and air tankers are critical, especially now that, as we heard from John, most of the firefight is deep in those canyons. And News Channel uh, Scott Sheehan now joins us live along the highway in Refugio tonight. And Scott, where are the flames now? All right, so Beth CJ, right? So the majority of these flames are in the canyons. That's why those helicopters are important. That's where the smoke and the smoldering is all going. So I'm going to move out of the way a little bit. This is the canyon I went deep into. It's Refugio Canyon. And right in the middle of all of that, trying to put out the fire, help in the fight and survive, is the Reagan Ranch. The sound of airplanes and helicopters is music to firefighters' ears especially for those who live in the canyons where the Alisal fire is burning. Helicopters are getting water from anywhere they can, some from the ocean. Another from a pond on top of Refugio Canyon. That pond belongs to the Reagan Ranch, also known as the Western White House during the Ronald Reagan presidency. Workers at the ranch say the Alisal fire is deja vu for them. It was a Sherpa fire back in 2016, came within about a quarter mile of the ranch, which is about the distance that this fire is now to the south. So that one was, uh, it started on the east uh, off the ranch property and then burned, you know, all the way down to the freeway that first night. And uh, likewise, this one started to the west of the ranch and uh, it burned also down to the freeway the first night. Hand crews from Northern California, San Bernardino, San Diego, Orange and Ventura counties are all helping the fight. And unlike the first two days of the Alisal fire, day four has had a coordinated air attack with helicopters dropping loads within minutes of each other. Reagan ranch workers are also taking steps to protect the iconic property. We put in uh, six hydrants. We've got lots of water on the property. And so, uh, you know, we feel like we're well prepared, but you're, you can never be sure. And it's, uh, you know, it's an irreplaceable historic uh, property and structures. So we just don't want to lose it. The U.S. Forest Service, along with other firefighters, have been stationed up at Reagan Ranch, as well as other ranches in surrounding canyons. And the hope is that the wind cooperates enough so that firefighters can extinguish the fire and end the threat that's around them. Reporting live along the Gaviota Coast, I'm News Channel reporter Scott Sheehan.